couldn't get enough of it all We kept it going for so long, so long I don't know where I would be if we let it go Cause every time we try to break it down and build again Every time we try to make up for something lost You know Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome. So we are gonna go for breakfast this morning and Jennifer wants to stop at a drugstore and then she found a park she wants to go check out. So it's Saturday morning, let's get at her my friends. Let's go. You might as well come along and let's spend the day with the two gringos on the go. After I have a little coffee first. Delicious. Okay, we're gonna do a quick pit stop here and visit a little puppy. Let's go check him out. He's brand new to Jalapa. All right, guys, it's 9.30 in the morning, Saturday. We're on the main drag heading downtown to El Centro. Got a beautiful Mercedes parked in his car. Probably a business owner. Pretty quiet this morning. We find on the weekends before 10 o'clock, it's usually pretty quiet. So we like to have coffee right up here to the left, guys. This is a good place for coffee. Right on the main drag here. Got a nice view of people walking by in the traffic. my friends we are in the square and we're going to head this way this is another good place to go and eat right here as well So we got about three blocks to go. So you can see it's 10 a.m. now, starting to get a little bit busier. A few more people out and about walking around. The shops are starting to open up now. No 
noisy city traffic. Hustle bustle. So we're just going to do a quick pit stop here at the drugstore where they sell these tags, these digital tags for the uh, toll roads. We are having a hard time finding them, so OXO is supposed to sell them, but they never seem to have them. So we'll see if they got them here. Okay guys, so we bought this and it's for the app called Two Tag Passe. Now this is what you load on your phone to uh, pay for the toll road so you don't have to pay for cash or your uh, debit card or credit card. You just use the app off your phone and this is uh, preloaded. Now these are pretty hard to find. You got, kinda gotta shop around. There's only a few places that have them. One is a certain drugstore and then OXO has them but it seems Oxo never seems to have them. They always seem to be sold out. So, okay, guys, we're gonna head off now. We'll go to the drugstore that we were looking for originally for the dog, and then we will go for some breakfast. So let's get at her. Okay, actually, we're gonna do one more pit stop. We're gonna look for a phone case for my phone. I need to update my case. Now uh, we checked a few phone case stores the other day and we never found any other than a pink one and same thing here today and I don't know why because my phone's pretty new I think it's just because of the brand of it and the Paco Okay, no luck at that one, so we will try another phone case store and see if we have any luck at this one. Oh, there's another one across the street. There's like three right here. Well, we were hunting, hunting all over here and purple is the best we could do. <laughs> oh, looks like I'm going with a purple one. We've checked about five different stores, so beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, okay, it's getting pretty warm now, guys. It's supposed to get up to 28 Celsius today. I believe tomorrow is supposed to be 29. I think we're only about a block away here. We're getting pretty close now. And it's starting to get busier, busier as we go. Check out the size of that tree. That thing is massive. So Jen's never been up in this area. And I don't think I have either, to be honest with you. All right, guys, this is it up here. About 10 more steps. And then we'll head to the park and grab some breakfast. It's getting pretty late though, 10.30 now. Okay guys, there was a huge line up there, probably 15 people with their pets waiting to get into the drugstore. It's also, um, yeah, it's also a vet as well. So you got the drugstore and vet all in one. So it's super, super busy there. So guys, now we will hunt down a place to have some breakfast. It's 10.30 in the morning. We'll see what we can find. A little quieter over here, guys. We're getting away from the downtown area now. This is still considered El Centro, but we're at the edge of the downtown core. Probably got about five, six blocks to walk to the park, city blocks.
It's what? A big green on the Alright, looks like we found the park here guys. Along with a hotel it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Hola, buen dia. Yeah. Oh yeah. The Grand Hotel, Jalapa. Very nice. Looks like the park's right up here somewhere. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, we could eat in there maybe. Let's go check it out. See if we can get in there. Well, we'll see if they allow the dog. I'll turn you guys off. Well, they won't allow the dog, unfortunately. So, off we go. See if we can find a place that's pet friendly, I guess. So we got the park here guys, it's all fenced off with razor wire. <laughs> now I'll just keep following the fence line here until we get to the entrance and hopefully we find a place to have breakfast. I'm not even sure if they're going to allow the dog in here. That we'll find out soon enough. Ah, uh, there's probably a place to eat at the bottom of the hill. Down here, I would imagine. Yeah, we've never ventured over here. I've never even been over here. Nice area down here. Okay guys, we're gonna try this place in the corner and this time we are going to use CC's emotional support badge and see if we can get in. Jennifer has the paperwork, we just keep forgetting about it. If not, we'll try this place here. But we'll try the place in the corner first. Yeah, 
Oh, look at this. Little windows. Cool. Little latches. This is called the Bear Crusano on there. Bear Crusano. Bear Crusano, as in someone from Veracruz. Mm -hmm. um, this is beans and eggs inside and salsa roja covered in cheese and cream. Looks good. Looks messy. It's a lot bigger plate than I was expecting. Jennifer approves. She says it's very good. Now I wait for mine. Spicy? <laughs> Daryl ordered La Finca. So it's um, sunny side up eggs on tortilla shells with salsa roja. So our breakfast with two coffees, two juice was 240 pesos and I'll put that conversion right up there somewhere. Right there. All right guys, we had our breakfast. It was pretty delicious. And that's where we ate right there in the corner. Now we will head over to the park. It says no dogs, but we're gonna try with our emotional support papers. All right, guys, we were able to come in with uh, CC's emotional support papers. So that's good. So let's go explore the park, my friends. And we'll just leave little CC in his pouch for now. He yeah, he can walk home once we get out of the park. We'll take him out and he can go for a little walk. Cool in here with all the trees. You can feel the temperature drop. Oh, you got water running through here. You got a little babbling brook, guys. Nice. Very nice. And some water for the birds. And we got some turtles. We got turtles, big turtles. Look at the turtles. Oh my God, there's turtles. And fish. Look at oh, the look fish. at these fish over here, babe. Massive. Wow. Wow, check that out. Look at a yellow one. They're really fat. Yeah, they're really fat. Yeah, I don't think they're starving, that's for sure. Wow. Oh, pretty colors, eh? Look at this one here, the red one, red and orange here. Wow. Very cool. All right. Oh, there's a restaurant right up there. Yeah, that's the one that I had. Uh, yeah. So you got a restaurant right up there where you can go and eat. And I doubt if they would allow the dog in there, but we may have to leave the dog at home and come back and try that place out sometime if they don't allow the dog. Oh, yeah, you got stairs right here. Pretty cool. Sorry. 
Ooh, there's some big turtles in here. I think that's usually a fountain. Yeah, I think it is a fountain. Yeah, it's turned off right now by the looks of it. Not running. Looks like they might be maintained. Yeah, I see a work truck over there. Yeah. There's some big turtles in here. He's a big guy, that one. Pretty cool. Well, I'm very thankful guys that they allowed the dog in here and she didn't even hesitate at all She just looked at the paperwork and said yeah, no problem Well in Spanish <laughs> Okay, let's go and explore some more guys I got a little play area for the kids over here guys Looks like a little jungle gym And I would say that is supposed to be the bathrooms that are all locked up Pretty cool though. Or could be a tool shed, yeah, but I just love like look at the brick, eh, and the stairs and just wow. So cool. So cool. What's the name of this park again, Jennifer? Those Deca hate this. So that's it. And I'll put the uh, location and the name in the description, guys. Thanks for being here with us today. We really appreciate it. God bless everybody out there. If you've not yet subscribed, please do so. We'd really appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up, please and thank you. We would also greatly appreciate that. They got some young fellas playing ball over here. Oh, okay, so you got a little exercise area over here. So that's what this whole area is. Cool. Soccer on concrete. Yeah, okay. We'll go back the other way. Are we cut across right here, the bridge? It's hard to tell, but that wall right here is pretty high. Like it's straight up there. A stone wall. Like there's a top of it way, way up there. It's pretty high. Nice area, eh? Mm -hmm. Nice and cool in here. So, unlike a lot of parks, back in Canada, I can't speak for the US, but I've noticed here, there's a lot of parks that are 
fenced off with barbed wire and they don't allow dogs. And there's someone manning the gate. I Jennifer had to give her name to come into the park. You don't ha don't have to pay, but you had to give your name. And there's a lady and a gentleman that were manning the gate. And as you saw, it was fenced off with barbed wire. Now I understand not allowing dogs though because they want to keep it clean and it's just more more work for the people that work at the park and you know if they allow one they got to allow them all right so it just eliminates you know dangerous dogs from being in here and, and incidents you know some people are afraid of dogs too right you know people look at a pit bull and think oh my god it's dangerous you know or a german shepherd oh my god it's dangerous you know so it just eliminates that and i get that we may find it strange i said back in canada you would never hear of uh going into a park where they didn't allow the dog as long as he's kept on a leash and you pick up after him Yeah, a nice little area over there. Oh, look at a stream over here, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. We'll go down and check that out. So there's a fountain there as well. It's turned off. You can see it's got stages, drops down, and it's supposed to run into here, but it's not running either. Apartment complex up there, it looks like. You can go up around that way too. So you can see the water is running from here all the way down. Okay guys, we'll go for a walk down there. Might as well come along my friends. Let's go, let's go. Look at the water running down here. What a beautiful park, eh guys? Give us a thumbs up if you like this park, my friends. We are right in Jalapa, Veracruz. Not far from El Centro either, really. Probably about a 
20 minute walk from our house. Get a different angle of the fountain here. Oh, you got turtles in here as well. You can see them right there. You got two turtles. And you got some more fish. This is a nicer view of it. It is a nice view here, yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Should have brought my fishing rod. What a beautiful park. You got water running down through there. Is he still over there or is he gone now? Probably left. Oh, there he is right there. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for being here with us today. We really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour today. And we will continue the rest of the tour tomorrow, my friends. So there will be a part two. God bless everybody out there. Peace on earth. Hasta luego. Oh, and as always, please be kind to one another. And we'll catch you on the next one, chicos.